Look at this. Look at this. It's gorgeous. See the snow? See the trees? See the lake? See the more snow? See the clouds? This is just a, this is a glorious concoction of beauty here in Oregon. But I'm going to talk about the beauty <laughs> right now because it's absolutely gorgeous. But I'm also going to be talking about what protein does for your body, what protein does for your health, how it affects your fitness journey, and also answer a few misconceptions. So first off, let me give you my description of what protein is. I don't have a dictionary here, so I'm not going to define it word for word. But protein is the overall puzzle piece made up by amino acids that makes up your muscle structure, makes up those pretty, pretty things that we're always trying to tone up and make a little bit stronger on our body, make a little bit bigger, make a little bit more visible. So this is the most important macronutrient when it comes to having very visible muscle. When it comes to keeping muscle on you while you're losing fat, it's very, very important. High protein levels in periods of a caloric deficit when you're eating less calories than you're burning are going to allow you to maintain muscle mass while your body eats away at the fat better. So protein is very, very important to have Let's talk about the timing here. So I gave you the definition of what protein is and what it does. I'm going to give you its best timing to have it. And I'm also going to tell you what it doesn't do. All right. So because protein is very, very important for recovery, it's along with keeping muscle mass on you. This is adding to that definition. It's extremely important for recovery. The more protein you have, the faster you will recover from your workouts. It's as simple as that, and the better you will recover from your workouts. This is why amino acids are a very popular supplement. So is whey protein. So with that being said, timing for protein. When should I have protein? Should I have a 16-ounce steak before I go to my workout? Should I eat uh, you know, six pounds of cottage cheese before I um, go on a run? Is that going to help me out, Patrick? Well, let me answer. Protein consumption, the timing of it, does not affect your performance in your workouts ever. Ever, ever, ever. If anyone tells you that, it's completely off. Protein does not impact your athletic performance. It impacts how much muscle you're gonna keep on your body, so it has a much more long-term effect, especially during cycles of cutting and bulking, but day in, day out, if you eat more calories at 9 a, or if you eat more protein at 9 a.m. and you have a workout at 11 a.m., your performance will not be improved because you have that protein. So the best time to have the protein, I know I'm getting to, this, to the answer a little bit late, is in every single meal every single meal. You should have a hit, a small dose of protein in every single thing that you consume. So this would be throwing chicken in a salad. This would be eating some, some nuts or maybe throwing in some uh, cottage cheese with some fruit. This would be eating jerky with that fruit. This would be having uh, fish and vegetables with your dinner. This would mean adding a whey protein shake to something if you're not necessarily getting the protein in uh, direct whole foods, which is most optimal, direct whole foods for the protein. Every single meal should have about an even amount of protein. Does it matter, Patrick, if all of my protein comes from one or two big meals? No. You could eat 80 grams of protein, 100 grams of protein in one meal. It does not matter. However, for consistency's sake, to make sure you don't depend on one meal to get all your protein in and say you miss it because something ends up happening, you should have it consistently in every single meal. Now, I gave you the definition. Protein's gonna help out with recovery and keeping muscle mass. I gave you the timing on what's most important for it. Now I'm gonna tell you what protein, and I gave you, I told you actually already, what it doesn't do. It doesn't improve your workout performance. It doesn't affect your hormones that much either. That's where fats come in. Carbs help out with your workout performance. So if you want to recover faster, if you want to keep muscle on your body and build more muscle, you need to eat protein and you need to have it consistently in every single meal. But if you get it all in in a huge meal or maybe two huge meals, it does not matter. You cannot have too much protein in one meal. I hope this helped you guys out. Have a great day.